So I think for every author, you know, it's, uh, it would be frustrating to make a film, you know, and then nobody understands it or recognize it. And it's like you are talking for hundreds and two minutes and the people just, you know, <laughs> say, what now? And for a personal movie, I think it's even harder because it's like you're talking naked for 102 minutes and then everybody say, Pff. so, so I, in that, that term, I think it was uh, difficult. We didn't want to exploit the suffering. We try somehow to avoid this uh, pornography of pain, or I don't know how to, how to call it. And otherwise, also we wanted somehow to create this feeling similar, you know, when somebody, somebody's happening on the other side of the street, you know, somebody falls down suddenly or something, and you just turn your head and look. It's a short, permanent look until you do something, you know, but it's like we, we try to create this distance in a way, um, and we, we had the feeling that that way it's even more lonelier, lonely, the, the characters are lonelier, and also we try to, to make a counterpoint in the way that we shoot it also in wide shots uh, to let the nature come somehow in and the beauty of the nature, you know. Uh, it's not really a movie you can somehow uh, lean on it. And I think it's um, death and, and, and topics like suicide are often in literature or in movies somehow romanticized or connected with a new beginning, paired with a new beginning, you know, characters come somehow stronger after it. But um, I wanted to make a movie because it's my experience, a movie about it that uh, death can also come out of nothing, you know, and um, without any explanation, any warning. Um, and I think it's important that you accept that, you know, and it's maybe a relief in that, that you accept this kind of mystery that you cannot control everything as it is told, you know, in the magazines, in the self-help literature. So it's a little bit, um, um, it's another angle, or for me, it's the truth about it. So I think for the audience, I, I wanted um, to see this angle. Also, I have the feeling because uh, that is a film about how you can, what you can do with your trauma, because it happens somehow, the film is based on my, my experience, and it's not hidden, it's addressed in the movie. So, Maybe this, this is also a way. So I think it's not the only way or, or it doesn't have to be uh, that way. Uh, it's perfectly normal that somebody does nothing with his trauma, you know. But this is to just broadens somehow the view or the perspective, what you can do or what. Uh, so maybe it's that uh, inspiration for the audience, you know, not to be quiet or ashamed. And in generally, I think mental health and stuff like that is still, and death is still a taboo. I get the feeling from the first time when we um, pitch uh, the, mu the movie at uh, Sarajevo Film Festival at Cinelink, in the end we get the Euro Image Award, but I remember the first uh, sales agent told like, okay, it's very interesting, great, but you know, you mentioned in the synopsis death uh, three times, could it be maybe one time, you know? So I think um, in a way it's important that Locarno or a great festival put a uh, finger on it so the people somehow, um, uh, yeah, get into it or try to watch it or yeah, confront themselves with, with it.